Hi guys and welcome back to our tutorial series. In the last tutorial I showed you guys how to make a melee attack system and I said I was going to show you how to make the window uh, window destruction but before I do that I'm just going to get the bullet um, injection out of the way because it's really fast and simple and um, <laughs> let's get started. Right, the first thing you want to do is if you notice on your gun there is normally a hole where the bullet comes up from so what you want to do is you want to place an empty game object over there that's going to be telling the system hey this is where our bullets going to eject from so I'm going to go to create empty and it's going to place an empty game object somewhere I'm going to click on my Y axis over here I'm going to drag it right next to my gun pull it along this side and click on my Z just to make sure if it's right leveled pull it up and place it there right so let's see where you position that it's too far off I'm going to put it somewhere around here. I hate when you need to do this. Okay, somewhere around here should be alright for me. Uh, rename your object to bullet eject. Okay, and um, hit enter and attach this to the main gun so it becomes a child of that which is over here save this now I'm just gonna let you right let you guys know right now that the bullet I have is in fact actually a cube like so it has a capsule collider around it and a rigid body that's about it now I don't have a actual um, bullet shell model so I didn't use that and the script I'll be teaching you how to make so I'm going to remove that and I'll show you how to make that in a minute so yeah that's a prefab I'll upload this onto the site so you can just either download it or you can make your own it's pretty straightforward if you look at it it's pretty straightforward honestly just a cube with a capsule collider big enough so it doesn't go under the ground so that's that, okay. No, I should leave that there actually, because I need to attach the script in a minute. So the first thing you want to do is you want to actually make the part for instantiating. So you're going to open up your ray shoot script again. You're going to go all the way to the bottom one more time. And underneath function attack, you're going to create a new function. You're going to call this eject shell. Open bracket, close bracket, closing curly brace, open curly brace, save it uh, inside this we're going to instantiate the object so we're going to say instantiate oops there we go instantiate and what object do we want to instantiate? Obviously, that's our. I haven't done that. Sorry, I'm skipping ahead. Go back on to, yeah. Go back to the very top, and I had the variables from the previous one. All right, that's fair enough. So yeah, you want to make two variables: one called bullet and one bullet eject. Now, bullet ejects come in the spawning area for the bullet. The bullet's actually the object. So make sure you have those two included right over here. Now, once you've done that. We're going to add them over here. So we're going to eject the bullet. So we're going to say bullet. Comma bullet eject. Dot transform. Dot position. Comma bullet. Eject. Dot transform. Dot rotation. Save it. And that's the instantiating part done. Now you want to call your function in your shoot button, uh, in your shooting part, in, uh, bloody hell, in your shoot area. So when we press the button to shoot, we want to call it there. I'm going to place it above play shoot audio. Just before we play the shoot audio, I'm going to say eject shells, open bracket, close bracket, and closing semicolon. Save that, and let's see what happens in Unity. I'm just going to highlight the gun quickly. Oh, 
All right. Now, let me delete the objects from here. Let me show you how to add them properly. Now, the bullet one is going to be the bullet prefab, so I'm going to attach that there. Bullet eject is going to be eject shells. Now, if I zoom from the character and press the shoot button, let's see what happens. Right, you can see the shells are ejecting, but that means the script's attached already somewhere because that is not supposed to happen, and I'm right. Yeah. Let me delete the script off. Oh, let me just shut it off for now. So that's that originally you see the bullets just fall down straight. Now what you saw before was adding random movement to it. It pushes the bullet away, like so. <laughs> Let me just hold on, yeah. So that's what we're going to do next. But something's gone wrong. Why aren't the bullets staying on the ground? Alright, don't worry about that for now. Alright, yeah, so. Then we'll delete the old script and I'll show you from scratch. Bullet system, delete, enter. On your FPS script folder, create a new JavaScript. Call it bullet eject system. Okay, double click and open more develop. Right. You don't need your update function for this, nor do you need this program strict thing on the top, delete it. Now you need the following variables. First one's gonna be random movement. It's gonna be a type int. Next one's gonna be the force. So far random force. It's gonna be a type int. Next one's gonna be far random movement. X it's gonna be a type int next one's gonna be for random movement y it's gonna be a type int as well okay that's that done now inside the start the first thing you want to do is you want to say destroy open bracket close bracket closing semicolon game object with a lower g comma 3.5 I explain what that does right basically before we do anything we want the object to destroy we don't want it to stay on the screen forever so after basically 3.5 seconds destroy the game object that's what that line is doing <coughs> save your script just in case now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to say random movement It's going to be equals to a random range dot range open bracket close bracket closing semicolon and inside this we're going to put random x random movement x comma random movement y so we're going to have random movement for the x and y position of the bullets force is the next one so random force is going to be equals to a random range as well and um, it's going to be open bracket close bracket semicolon it's going to give it a random value so first one I'm going to put as one for the y I'm going to put okay that's that now the next step is actually adding 
force to the bullet so when it comes out when it ejects we want the bullet, bullet to push away not drop straight down fly out so we're gonna say rigid body dot add force yeah add relative force open bracket close bracket closing semicolon uh, on the X I want it to fly out 55 and then for the Y I'm gonna put random force like so and then for the Z I'm gonna have nothing save and the last one is rigid body dot add relative torque open bracket close bracket put inside my colon and all we're going to do in here is going to say random I'll explain what that does in one second random movement random movement and two save this one over here basically adds a spin to the bullet so when it flies out it has a small spin to it it doesn't fall out robotically like straight uh, you know falling straight when a bullet flies out ejects from the shell it always has a random movement to it and a different spin every time that's what that does all we're saying is for the x have a random movement a random spin sorry for the y a random spin and for the z just do a random as well and save it and that's that done now we want to attach this script to the bullet prefab and i made a mistake somewhere Random X is the first one. Save it. Let's see what it looks like now. Close that. Um, as you can see, I told you I had the bullet dragged out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag that script onto this. It's going to quickly look for the script. Bullet system. Drag onto that. And there we go. Let me update the bullet prefab. To do that, just type bullet in the search engine on top of here, search bar. You'll see it show up. Now you can see I got it dragged over here, highlighting saying it's a prefab. Because it's blue, just drag that back onto the prefab and it updates it. And now I can delete it from here. Now save. Now let's see what it looks like. And hopefully it should work. We'll go back to the main player so we can see. So if I shoot, brilliant, it works. Now, but the bullets, I don't know why they're falling off the ground. That's a bit strange. Have I taken something off the bullets? Nope, everything seems to be the same. The capsule collider just falls down. Ah, oh, I know why. I must be screwing around with something previously. Uh, ignore this, you don't need to do this. I think that screwed it up. Let me just save it and try again. Yep. The bullets eject, they hit the ground, they stay for three seconds and they destroy themselves. Now the reason I put 55 as the pushing force from the beginning is if you have the character controller attached to him and walk, something happens to the player because of the slope limit on the character controller. They start to fly with it as well. So this time if you shoot and walk, nothing happens. That's the reason I done that. I can show you what happened previously if I just go back into that script and put this what I had before to you'll see what happens when the player walks while he's shooting you get some really stupid movement it starts to push you with it as well you don't want that that's what happens I'm not, if you don't if you didn't see that I'll show you one more time but I'll zoom in this time now keep an eye on the main player and when I shoot by standing it's fine and you see, if I put two, the force for pushing out ain't much. It just falls straight down. That's why the collision with our main player and those objects are colliding and it's pushing us away. 
So if I do it, that's what happens. So that's why you gotta have this some amount further away from the player. So 55 is a really good starting point for it to push it away. Save it. And that's how you create bullet ejecting shells. Well, ejecting shells. I don't know why I said bullet ejecting shells. But yeah, that's how you do that. And um, in the next tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to break the windows. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. And I will see you in a bit.